Boom. There it is. The Aces Rog Scabbard. Well, I'm not going to do a total unboxing, but look, the, the mass pad's out already, as you can see. So you've got your Aces uh, Republic of Gamers logo there. And up there, you got. Let me move it over a bit. Rog. Let me move the dingy 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 ding. There we go. Rog Scarabad. It's quite big writing. It doesn't look too appeasing to the eye. I wish they just had this logo here. Let me move the camera over here. And I wish it was just a bit of smaller writing. Uh, smaller logo, sorry. You also got the uh, Condora fabric logo there. Uh, but that, where it says Rog Scabbard at the back there, it's very big, it's not very nice. Um, it don't really bother me, but some people just probably, you know, not really like that. It's a bit of a tramp stamp, you know what I mean? <laughs> a trampy stampy. So, a lot of people not going to like it, but this is my second mass pad. The first one I got uh, had a wave on this side here where I use my mouse. So basically, uh, when I would use my mouse, I feel a little lumpy, wavy area. So I sent it back and this is my second one. To be honest with you, it's a really, really good mouse pad. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't buy it in a second. Um, the glide is very good, as you can see. It's a really good glide. It glides very, very nicely, like, look at that. It's very nice on that side. That's why I haven't used it much, right? But check this out. When you go on this side, look, it starts getting a bit muddy, right? It stops. See how it stops right there? You see that? Right. You see how it goes there? As after usage of like say within a month, it's got a bit muddy right there. But wait, if you if you go here, it's perfectly fine. Let me move the mouse a bit more. Turn the camera a bit more. See, if you look here, it's good on this side. Well, I don't use it, it's brand new. That's how it was when I first have it, had it. And over there, it stops very quickly here. You see that? It's, it's gone very, very muddy and sticky in that area here. Which is, it's all right, it's still got fairly good uh, glide compared to a normal mouse pad. So even though it's gone a bit muddy on this side, let me move the mouse over here, the camera over here. So even though it's gone a bit muddy here, right here, it's gliding really, really well. Yeah, it's gliding well, but over here it's got muddy, so I'm not really happy about that. Um, but compared to the, um, right, let me get my other mouse pad, the QC Quick. It's a bit dirty now, as you can see, the Steel Series QC Heavy. I need to give it up. This is muddy all around, this is how it is when you get it, it's always like this. It's quite grippy, it's a really controlled surface. Compared that, to this look it's more glidey uh, this is very good for control um, and uh, not too good for speed whereas the um, actual scabbard is a lot better for gliding and smooth and tracking your targets it's really really good I really did enjoy this pad but there's another problem I'm going to get to in a minute uh, also the Hyper Fury Pro I think it's called the big extra long mass mat you can see the logo up there. So the hyper fury, it's all gone dirty. This is the thing with these pads, they get really, really dirty. Whereas the rog hasn't really got dirty. And it leaves a white residue. It's easily cleaned, you just use a, a wipe and it wipes off. This is a bit better than the actual uh, QC. It's a bit more, a little bit more glidey. Not as glidey as the... Um, as the uh, uh, scabbard. But the thing is, this doesn't lose this... Uh, Consistency, whereas the scabbard has lost its consistency on one side, but um, it's still quicker than this. Yeah, so mm, it's a, the thickness of this pad is two millimeter. Uh, the length is nine by four, I believe it's so it's nine long and four uh, tall. But now here's the problem. So I don't know if I can show you this, but if you look here. It started to bubble up. I don't know if you can see it. You can. You could probably see it now on the camera. Wait, but you see that? That's bubbling up. You see all that? It's raising up from the actual uh, backing of the uh, the base. So it's all gathering up there. See, it's not doing it anywhere else. You see? It's just on that area there. And the reason why that is, I have my hand here like this. So if I grab my keyboard, so I have my hand like this. 
So when I'm using the keyboard, and after you, you've used the um, the keyboard for a while, your hand tends to like heat up and then sweat, and that sweat and heat kind of like does this to your mouse pad. It won't really happen on this side because you're always moving your mouse around, so you're not really stationary. So when you use your let me move my, so when you use your mouse, you're not really keeping it there for a long period of time. You're always moving your mouse. But on your keyboard size, you tend to just keep your hand like this, right? Most of the time. If you're playing games, you're going to have it like this, WASD. So it's going to be like one position. So due to the fact, heat build up, sweat build up, it's... I'm not really a sweaty person either. So, and I live in a cold climate. I'm living in the UK. So due to that fact that you're resting your hand here, this is what's happened. So I, I'm really upset about that. I'm pissed because this is my second mass map. It's going back... I'm going to try the MP512, sorry, five, MP510 by Cooler Master. That's going to be my next mouse pad. So I'm really sad that this is going back because I was getting along really well with it. I mean, oh, the glide is really, very really good. Even though it's gone a bit muddy, the glide is really, really good. You know, it's probably one of my favorite mouse pads. Um, I think it does favor uh, mouses with bigger feet this has got smaller feet it does tend to get a little bit you can feel the uh it kind of it tr when you move the mouse so if, you, if you're like playing something like pubg and you're trying to like uh count the recoil so you're going down you feel it kind of like gripping and tracking kind of like sticking uh kind of goes on rails a bit and you can't move it too well if you push down too hard i push down hard a lot whereas when you got another mouse like say the uh G703 and it's got bigger feet or maybe mouse with bigger feet than that it you don't feel it as much so I think this mouse pad is probably better for people who use um, bigger mouse feet rather than small mouse feet but yeah that's it guys I mean it's a really good mouse pad it's but the quality control is not there the first one sent back the second one is you know cause that problem with the uh, bubbling and stuff as you can see really disappointed uh, I would love to have kept it for longer, you know, because I was getting really used to it. My my tracking on, on targets, everything, the movement, the field, the glide was absolutely, absolutely fantastic compared to the QC and the Hyper. But it's going back. QC is bad. MP510 is coming soon. So if you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave the comments down below. And... It's time to go now. Until next time. I'm not liking it.